Hey everyone, Michael, Soaring Heart Studios, SoaringHeartStudios.net, and write me at SoaringHeartStudios at Yahoo.com. We're out in the studio, uh, die studio, garage, print studio, quilt marking studio, <laughs> um, the garage. So I wanted to come out here today because like I said, I had to mark this quilt out and I've been having some difficulties with it, but I want, came up with some unique ideas and found a great tool that I want to share with you today. Um, so let's get started. As you can see, laying before me is Conversational Hearts. And I'm getting ready to quilt this for market. Uh, I had some real trouble laying this out. It was just an absolute nightmare because there is a border. You can see part of it right there. Uh, that runs only on two sides of the quilt. And trying to get that square was difficult. Also, making sure that everything laid flat here was kind of interesting as well, too. Because at one point I thought I didn't square up the big, the black whole cloth before putting the borders on it. And I didn't remember if I did or I didn't, and uh, I was getting confused. And yeah, yeah. So, I had this handy little tool that a friend told me about that I was just blown away with how well it worked. And let me step over here and grab it. This is a laser square. And what it does is you can see the lines there is it does a 45, perfect 45 degree angle. So I was able to lay it in the corner and make sure that I was getting the two borders at perfect right angles and making sure the rest of the field laid out correctly. Like I said, this was absolutely, this was um, a stroke of genius. It really was. Um, to use in quilting. I think every quilter should have this. This is available on Amazon. This was $13. It runs on three AA batteries. It's absolutely fabulous. I was, I mean, this is going to stay in my quilting arsenal. Absolutely. And very, like I said, very easy to use. So let's go back on to Conversation Hearts. Now that I got it all squared up, I do have black batting on this because it is a black quilt. Um, and the light would just show through, so I got some black batting to do the black backgrounds. First thing I did was cut out a template out of three quarter inch, or I'm sorry, quarter inch Luan, and this comes in, in sheets at Home Depot, it's two by four, and cut down a piece of it and cut out one of the conversational heart patterns out of it so that I can lay it directly over the image, or directly over the heart, and then use it to quilt a perfect quarter inch uh, border all the way around it. And then I can even pick it up and slide it over a little bit and do the same thing and catch, just to, just catch the shadow, the drop shadow on each one. So this is gonna be really handy. The back of it I saturated in spray base and just let it sit and dry and then started putting it on fabric and just lifting it off to build up the texture. So right now this has got a wonderful lint abundance on the back of it and texture. So it's, um, it does not move. This thing does not, I mean, look at this. You can, I mean, I'm shaking the whole table. You can see I'm, sh I'm just using this and I'm, which you couldn't, unfortunately it's, it's, it's just, you can't hear the noise of me picking it up because it's really, you can hear it. It's, I mean, it's stuck to it. So, my original idea for quilting this quilt was to just move this around and then, you know, quilt all the way around and then go back to another point and then move it again and then quilt all the way around, go to a different point, move it again, go all the way around, move it to another point and move it. And I did that with um, Bunnies in the Butter and it turned out really cute. I was really happy with it and I thought this would work well for this. I was going to do everything in black, so you only saw the stitching across this, and I kept having I kept having problems. I kept I just didn't I didn't like the thread, I didn't like the idea of using black. I couldn't find a variegated that I like. A variegated would have been too harsh up against the black. So what I came up with is I'm going to just write. It's just going to be a continuous love written all the way across the quilt in all the black areas around all the hearts. And to get consistent in size, I cut out a little paper template that will allow me to do the love. And then I have my, where'd it go? Where'd it go? 
Oh no. Where'd it go? No. Where did it? That's what I heard fall on the floor. Excuse me. <laughs> heard something in the floor earlier and it was like, oh my God, what is it? So um, this wonderful white marking pen, um, it's heat erasable. I'd have to look up to figure out who the manufacturer was, but this thing on doing conversation, uh, doing uh, which was uh, hugs and kisses was just, I mean, I wrote out everything, did just about everything writing in this and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to do the, the love and I'm going to do, I looked at a uppercase L and a lowercase L for doing love. I like the lowercase L better because it starts on the bottom and ends on the bottom where with you capital, it starts at the top and ends at the bottom. And that might be difficult to link through the quilt. So I've got to under, I've got to sit here and try to draw out my patterns so that I know that the love is going to be continuous because you always want your love to be continuous um, and get that all squared away. And once I write it all out and have it marked up, I'll shoot a picture and we'll show you that. Today is Monday. It's the first day of the week. Um, I have, I think this will be the seventh quilt that will be quilted. So that will leave me, what, five? Is that right? Yeah, it will be five quilts to be quilted. The I'm kind of saving Happy Easter for the last quilt because I'm not quite, I have no idea how I'm going to quilt it. I'm thinking about actually doing some, some thread work uh, to keep the pieces anchored down. And if I do that, it'll have to be before I quilt, before I do the quilt sandwich and do the quilting because I don't want to do it as part of the quilting. Uh, it'll be easier to manipulate through the machine also if it's just one layer of fabric as opposed to two layers of fabric and some batting. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Like I said, it's, it's, it's going to be the last one quilted because I think it's going to be the most involved. Um, Fourth of July Freedom I've also been thinking about because I think it's going to be the next one I quilt. And I'm actually thinking of quilting the feathers as feathers. Just stitch on the feather, a feather design on each one of the feathers. And I'm going to have to play with that and see if I like the way that looks. Um, quilt police, please stay away. I don't want you. I don't want to hear you. You know, I mean, already they've written me a citation for crimes against fabric for what I did on Let It Snow. Uh, I don't need another another citation. I mean, I don't know how many of those get I get before I actually get kicked out of the quilting community, but <laughs> we will see. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this may or may not be sandwiched with other videos. If it is, please enjoy them. Uh, I look forward to spending more time with you. I love hearing from you. Uh, Julia of uh, JS Quilts just finished uh, one of the sampler quilts for me and did an absolutely wonderful job. And there's a link for that in the, uh, in my, go to my website, go to Happy Quilters, and that's actually the first one posted so you can see what she did with it. And she's actually on, attending on doing something that I've done only once before. And I really don't know anybody else who's done it. She's actually going to use, she's going to put borders on it, make it big enough and make it a shower curtain for the holidays. And I think that's absolutely adorable. I love the idea. Uh, myself, I actually did a nautical. We did a nautical bathroom and it was a nautical quilt. So it was all the nautical flags. And my late partner, Tom, um, we were kind of batting around ideas. And in nautical flags, it actually says, Tom loves Michael. Uh, it was going to say Michael loves Tom, but I didn't like the Michael that ends in an L and then love starting with an L. So it would have been two flags together. Oh, okay. It's funny too, but the fact that pop. Sorry about that. Hopefully you got that. Um, you may be able to see if I can do something. The phone fell out of the holder and hit the table and then hit the floor. And when it hit the table and it was going for the floor, I was cringing because there's a no protective case on this. I can't put a case on it and video with it. 
Um, so that was kind of scary. Uh, like I was saying, the nautical quilt I did, uh, like I said, was just in a beautiful bathroom. Um, I may be able to find a picture of it and send it or post it for here. So hopefully you'll get to see that as well. Once again, thank you for being here. Enjoy talking to you. Hope y'all have a great week. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. The video you're about to see is in super high speed, so you can kind of see how I square up this quilt. This one was a booger. I tried to square it up repeatedly, and it's the reason that I bought the digital, the uh, laser square is because I just, without borders, uh, <laughs> whole cloth quilts are hard to straighten up because as you know, once you quilt them, things start shifting and bunching and moving around. And this one's got a pretty dense quilting on it. Um, this, so far, this is the densest one I've done. And get you a little closer to it. Maybe you can see some of it. Those are, um, what are they called? Sonogram beats or heartbeats. So it's the yeah, 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 all across it, radiating out from the center. And then we also have uh, some quilting through it. That is the poem, I Carry Your Heart in My Heart by E.E. E. Cummings. So finally got this one squared, thanks to that laser square. So now we can get this one finished. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.